All right, guys, we gotta go. We gotta get moving here. It is Monday as I sit here recording this, and I've only left myself with four hours until the ranked season ends. I got a slow start today. And we gotta fit in, at the very least, two games if I can win them both. But the goal is still the same. The goal is to make it up to 800, and right now we are sitting at 760. So I guess it's not a, a complete guarantee, but I would think getting 20 from two wins each is probably realistic to assume so if we can get two wins in a row here nice and easy get our way in the championship series that would be incredible and for once i don't actually have anything else to talk about here so we're just going to get into the game we got brandon woodruff our new ace at full energy so he's going to get on the mound for this one and yeah in case you know in case you might have missed the last episode or something the plan for this is just to play rapid fire each game will still be its own episode but yeah i'm playing from now until the end of the season i'm playing in one sitting and all, all we can do is just cross our fingers and please do not freeze today man no freeze offs all right here we go it's time who do we got who's on the mound who we're taking on we're taking on robbie ray all right i haven't faced him too much i i love using this 99 robbie ray he's nasty for me but i haven't faced him much man i feel like i haven't played at this stadium since like mlb 19 Oh, good pitch. Didn't expect it. That's fine, though. 94 is not going to blow me away. It just kind of caught me off guard there. Vlad? Did he get it done again? Did he get it done again? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm I'm in shock. I'm, I'm still, every time he does something, blown away by how good 99 Vlad is. Gallo. I don't think Gallo got enough for that one. Yeah, just missed that one. Maybe if I went with that and hit it to the other side of the field. All right, he's swinging. That is a very good sign. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to get too overconfident here, man. But when people are swinging at that pitch, that is... Oh! Well, wait a second, you guys. This this changes everything. Man, dude really gave up one run, struck out one time, and was like, nah. Well, uh, I guess then now this has a chance of being the only video I have to record today. If we can win this next game here, that will 100% guarantee we get over 800. I don't even know if there's a chance unless I play someone rated like 300. Oh, and Woodruff still has full energy. I wasn't sure because he pitched, you know, to, to a batter. I wasn't sure if they'd knock him down, but they didn't. We get to use him again. We get to use our ace for the big game to get over 800. Oh, that was also our 60th win. Now we're 60 and 10. All right, this is it then. If we win... This is it. Gotta face Corbin Burns. Okay. I, I think I've faced him once, this new one, and it wasn't awful. Definitely not easy, though, by any means. He's got a solid record. This this should be a nice challenge. And we get to do it at home. All right, you know what? Let's just, fit, let's just find this out early. All right, all right. Not the same as the last guy, then. Nice. Love that pitch. All right, chopper to short. That should be an easy out, even with Turner running. And he rolled over on that one with Seeger. Nice, easy, one, two, three, top of the first. Now let's let Vlad do his thing again. Oh, and Bogarts, dude. Oh, man, that was right there for me. Man, I just missed it again. He's given me two cutters to destroy, and I've gotten under both of them. Ah, you know what? I know it looks like I was way behind and fooled by that, but that was literally the only pitch that I have done a bad thing on. Everything else from that inning indicates that I'm going to be hitting Corbin Burns today. Ooh, all right. Fastball above the zone, way above it, and he still was swinging, so now we know. Now we don't even have to risk the up and in fastball like usual to see whether or not he's on that. We know he's sitting on it. Rounder to short from Freddy. He's making contact. He's making plenty of contact, which kind of worries me. Oh, and then the slider. Woodruff is on today. Oh my god, that, that was a good swing, and I hate the shift. 
you know, I still, <laughs> I still feel like I'm in a good spot, and it's weird to say after going three up, three down twice. Ah, and I, I would have loved the strike out there, but that's fine. We just need outs. There we go. Oh, man, he was being frustrating that at bat. Nine pitches to sit him down. There we go, dude. Nine up, nine down. This is how I expected Brandon Woodruff to feel when I first got him. Oh, no. Ah, I was sitting all over that, and I got on top of it. Dang, he's stolen two strikes after a 3-0 count. That was a good pitch. Oh, that was another good pitch. I did not get enough of that, right? I did not get enough of that, right? Oh my god, I got enough of that? Oh, jeez, guys, I don't know about that. Bogarts? Yeah, that one definitely not. I, I thought I waited back on it more than I did. We put the pressure on him, though, man. We scored first. That is huge. Vlad, are we going to make this? No, no shot. That sucks, dude. That is... Nah, dude, don't let him get something started on a broken bat pop-up. That should be two. Seager's not quick. All right, there we go. Now he's going to need a hit to drive the run in. Oh, and that is going to get through. Unbelievable. Stop it. What is happening? Yeah, sit down. Jesus, dude. You're probably going to let him on first here. My God. <laughs> oh, my God. You're joking. Jeez. That should not be that close to being a home run. That was so far above the zone and away. Oh, no. No. You saw me sit on that. I never leave the PCI low and away when I'm waiting for the pitch, but I knew it was coming. I didn't miss it, and it was just a pop fly. All right, there we go. Get a base runner for Chris Bryant, the only guy who's done anything today. Ah, oh, stop it, dude. Ooh, all right. Wasn't sure how that would work, but it got him. Dude, that, that's not... He didn't even make contact. <laughs> you don't even need to go and freeze frame it. I could see. Oh. Pauly almost with the play there. Dang, that sucked, though. That was a great pitch. After I probably should have struck him out. <laughs> at least on two of those pitches. Shut up. Shut up, game. Nah. Nah. Nah, we're not doing this. I'm not losing like this. I'm not I'm not saying that wasn't a good swing, but he makes one good swing and gets rewarded with it. And I have my good swings and they don't do anything. No. We're not losing like this. All right. <sighs> I'm debating whether or not I want Woodruff pinch hit for here cuz I still don't think he's pitching bad. Nah, no, I will. I will. We got we got plenty of good arms in the bullpen now. Maybe we can get something started here with Lou Brock. Really? Alright, can't cheese him either. Oh, they gave me the swing! Oh my god! Literally not a single thing is going my way since that Chris Bryant home run. It's like the game was like, here, you take this one and you get nothing else. Alright, we got Johnny Lasagna. His last outing got cut off by the freeze off, so let's see what he's got this time. Oh, nice. That was a, that was a pretty nice strikeout. Ooh, we almost got him. He's cheesing, dude. That's it. This one's done. Yeah, yeah. That, that's about right. Yeah, that's about right, too. It's just obvious at this point. I'm not winning this game. 
That was an awful pitch. I can't believe he struck out on that. Well, <laughs> apart from two at-bats, man, Johnny Lasagna is nasty. That one's leaving. Alright, hey, maybe. Uh, that's the pitch I'm sitting on. Or wait a second. Is that doing something too? Oh, no way. I'm staying at third. For a second I was going to go home, but I remembered Correa has like 99 arm. That should get the run home. Yeah, that's going to do it. I don't think Reynolds has a crazy arm. All right, man. All right. Cut the lead in half. Oh, that... Mm. Dude, I'm waiting on that pitch. I, I have yet to be able to wait back on it. I know I've had a couple good results, even being early on it, but I just want to square it up once. All right, loop. I don't have anything else to say. Just all right, loop. Dang, dude. that That is just so dumb. Please be an out. All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, dude. Now I don't have to complain. That can never be a hit, though. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I love Loop, man. He's becoming one of my favorite pitchers, maybe even my favorite pitcher on this team. There we go. Probably should have just had three strikeouts, but Freddie Freeman had to mess it up. We kept it manageable, though. Two more runs, just like last inning, and we tied. We tied it. All right, I did wait back on it that time, and I was under it. Ah, uh, the shift. All right, out with a whimper there. I don't know. I just, I really had myself convinced in the beginning that I was going to be able to hit that Burns pitching. But instead of me seeing it better over time, he just started pitching better. And that is rough, man. Minus 37. Are you serious? That is, that's too much, dude. That is way too much. All right, we got Woodruff to parallel one. I forgot that that was probably going to happen. Man, I really, I should have gone into the, the whole batter analysis because now that I look at this box score, literally that was the difference, was that he got rewarded for his good swings and I didn't. I had a perfect that was an out. I had a couple line outs that were outs. That one with Matt Olson keeps sticking out to me too where I was sitting on the backdoor cutter. Timed it up great, had a great PCI and it was just a lazy fly out. I can't even say we had chances and didn't convert because like I literally did good and we just got unlucky. But anyway, we're here talking about the stubs we make from the end of this one. So we had our three runs which is good for 1500 stubs 12 total bases is another 3000 i struck out eight times which that's another thing i'm frustrated by is i almost struck him out twice as much as i struck out so like honestly he was probably hitting worse than i was but yeah anyway i struck out eight times so that's minus 800 i struck him out 15 times so that's 3750 five runs allowed is still good for 500 stubs and then eight hits is good for a thousand i think it goes without saying that this game earned more stubs even with the loss than the first game where the guy quit early but that first game does still count for a win which is 1500 and to quit which is another 1500 it was also our 60th win so that's another 1500 for every five wins and then we got woodruff to parallel one after that second game so that's another thousand stubs which brings our total for the episode today to 1400 14,450. All right, and here's what we got. And uh, those headliners don't look great now that I see them. But we got three show packs and a headliner bundle. That cost 14,500, so we had to pull just 50 out of the stub bank to round up but yeah i'm not too i'm not too focused on the packs right now unless you know we all of a sudden pull a diamond or something i just i gotta get into the next game and we gotta i don't even know if two wins is gonna do it now after going down 37 i mean it still should but i'm not 100 percent confident this pack all right if we pull the headliner here that's 
big. That is the only... Oh, we might have actually done it. Hang on. Dan Plezak is the last of the four diamond lefties that we can even pull for this team that we don't have yet. We've got all the other three. We've got Live Series Hater, Andrew Miller, and Aaron Loop. Dan Plezak is the only other one. We didn't get it. It's a purple. All right. You had to tease me like that game. Sure. It is Tyler O'Neill. So that's good for the stub bank. That's actually really good for the stub bank. There might be a chance now, once I sell all these guys, that we end up with another finest pack. The plan is after the rank season ends, I'm going to go back through however many episodes it was where I have yet to sell the guys I've pulled. And then I'll sell them all. And then if it's enough to buy another finest pack i'll buy one before they leave the shop on tuesday but who knows when i'll open it because i don't know how many more games we're even going to play so that pack might you know sit in the inventory for a week or something and the last pack i forgot to check who the headliner was but we don't get him anyway so it doesn't matter but yeah guys like i said i kind of just got to hurry up and get into the next one so i'm just gonna quick finish this video so if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like button because don't forget we are adding all of them up on every episode of pack attack week and we're gonna we're gonna just gonna have one big mass of stubs from likes at the end of it that i'll add up together but yeah guys thanks for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i gotta move on to the next one so i'll see you then